All right, welcome back to another video. Uh, this time we're going to be opening up none other than the EV V10. All right, they have a 10 that's smaller, and then they have this one that comes with I want to say four to five packs. Comes with five packs. All right, this EV promo card on there looks adorable. I want to say I paid thirty dollars for it. I have seen the smaller one going for sale for about thirty dollars as well. Seen this one or saw this one, jumped all over it, and I will show you guys why I ended up thinking this was going to be a good buy. Uh, I want to say it came with, correct me if I'm wrong, a Sun and Moon pack and as well as an XY pack. All right. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? All right, so for those, for around 30 bucks as well as a couple other packs I thought was a fantastic deal and had to jump on it right away. So this one, of course, we could have got the Pikachu one, missed out on that one, but the Eevee one, Eevee's another Pokemon that is really liked around the house. So we'll go ahead and open this guy up. And for the first time ever, see, for the first time ever for me, see what's inside. I have not seen, I see a lot of other content creators Really haven't seen nobody open this one. Of course, I wasn't looking, but I seen the 10. Saw it in the Pokemon Center site. It was sold out, and I was lucky enough to find one going for MSRP. So I think that's definitely a good deal. Let me know what you guys think, and hopefully you guys like my little map. If you guys haven't checked out that video, I bought two mats from the Pokemon Center site. A lot of people like my Pokemon 8-bit mat, so I decided to buy two more. Let me know what you guys think. I will put the description on that video down below. But let's go ahead and see what packs will be in here. All right. We have the promo card. We'll get that guy out of here. And we'll slowly take out those cards. Get the promo card out of there. And the promo card of Eevee definitely looks fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and sleeve that little guy up. And put him to the side. We'll put you there right by Ghastly. Here's the code card in case you want that. And... Let's go ahead and see what packs are inside. Let's put this out of the way. I'm not going to lie. Beautiful, beautiful looking tin. But, packs are why we're here. Yeah. Let's see. The packs are what I was expecting. First, we have Fusion Strike. Let's go ahead and open up Fusion Strike. I won't spoil the other ones. Get the shooter strike on. Shooter strike haven't really pulled anything crazy from there, but who knows? All right, for the front because this is Sword and Shield era, and let's see if we can get anything. Lavish, of course. Definitely let me know if you guys think this was a good deal for thirty dollars. I think it was. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of the map, as well as have you guys opened up any of the new sets. Pokemon 151, Twilight Masquerade, or the new set that's coming out soon that has Pikachu on it. And can't wait till that one comes out. That card looks fabulous. And Deoxys to finish that one. Now no! God, please, no! We got Brilliant Stars as our second pack. Let's go ahead and open up Brilliant Stars. And then we have another Brilliant Stars. So, let's see what we can get out of this Brilliant Stars pack. All right, let's go. Code card for you guys. Let's set that to the side. And, as always, to the front. And let's see. Let's get that pool. Let's get them pools out of this pack. 
All right, let me know what you guys think of the pack so far. Got a beautiful looking Starmie. So far we opened up Fusion Strike and it looks like we're gonna open up two Brilliant Stars, which I'm cool with that. Them last two packs. That's the reason that I bought this tin for only $30. We got Executor. And the last card, looks like we have something there. What will be the last card of Brilliant Stars? We have the Grand Bull V. Beautiful looking card. I'll take that. I'm lucky to get any pulls. So i definitely take that one. We'll set that right there. Right beside Eevee. And Brilliant Stars. Oh, this one has Evolving Skies in it. Definitely not what I was expecting. What? What the fuck? But I'll take it. And another pack of Evolving Skies. All right, so they did not come with the XY and the Sun and Moon that I was expecting. But for two packs of Evolving Skies in there, I still think it was worth $30. I'll take it. I'm not sure if they probably, they have in the past. So I'm not saying the guy sold me something that you've seen it was sealed. I want to say... They do reuse tins. I forget. They reuse tins all the time. But two Evolving Skies, you guys know how hard Evolving Skies is to get. But we'll go ahead and open up this pack of Brilliant Stars. And who knows, Evolving Skies in an EV tin. I'm not going to lie. They do go hand in hand. Alright. So let's go ahead and see what second pack of brilliant stars can give us all right let me know i mean i know i expect the sun and moon and x and y but got evolving skies let me guys let me know if you guys think it was still a good deal for 30 dollars all right we got bell toy let's see if we can at least get another hit out of evol not evolving skies Whew. thinking about them evolving skies out of brilliant stars all right, we didn't get nothing out of the second pack. Looks like right, we got hit out of the first pack. <sighs> Let's move on to two packs of Evolving Skies. Let's go. All right, these look like they slid up a little bit. Try not to mess them cards up. All right. Evolving Skies. Let's set that to the side. And let's see. You guys see that? There is a big, big miscut on that one. That would be a front card, so we'll go ahead and put the four to the front and show that one. It is a miscut energy card. That is crazy. Look at that thing. That is probably one of the craziest miscarts card miscut cards that I have gotten. See the white there. Got it. And there's the back. Man. That's pretty awesome. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and sleeve that guy up. I do not have a lot of mess of cards. I mean, I I do have one that the crimpet is on it, on a bunch of them. I don't know if I got that from the Rolling Skies as well. And these look like they're a little all centered as well. All right, let's see what this pack is going to have in it. That's crazy. I don't know if I... Uh, let me know if... I forget what the cult cards look like on the earlier sets. We got Corvana there. Nicket. Solid Eye. Or Solid E. Applin. 
what will be the last card of this one? Alright. These look a little bit better as far as centering goes. That's that energy card is crazy. Alright, let's move on to the last pack of evolving skies. Can you finish this video? What a hit. I don't know. I'm definitely glad to open up that tin. I would probably go find another one for thirty dollars. Most definitely. Oh, I would buy it again. But we'll see. There is the card. Let's see if I can get the old card. Alright, the old cards look like this. So I want to say it was a newer, definitely a newer print run. And I don't know, let me turn all of them around. They look like a newer print run. So de they've definitely reused the tin again, which Pokemon has known to do, do before. All right, last pack of Evolving Skies. This one, energy card, just perfectly fine. So let's see if what can we get out of this pack. All right, we got Lantern. Hit my chan. Cute fly. We got Eevee. There's nothing wrong with pulling an Eevee from the Eevee V10. And what will we get? We got the rubber gloves. And what will be our final card? As always, let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing. And there we go to finish that one. Evolving Skies. Crazy, crazy hard pull rates. Strike again. But I'm not going to lie. Definitely glad to get that miscut. Promo cart. And then Grand Bull. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys. See you guys on the next one. Alright, later.